Hello guys, it's Meech Tranches here and welcome to a new feeding video. This is my bracket palma for Daisy. As uh, is per usual, I don't really get a good clip of her. This is my Caribbean Adversity color. I was actually really surprised by this clip because it turned out really well. Like ever since she uh, molted, she's been eating really well. It's actually really cool. Big fan of it. Really excited for her. Now you got my Vigler Geraldi. And she's a bit of a, a picky ear. Well, picky. She's like a shy ear. Took like five minutes before she would take it. That's why I was like pushing the cricket around. And she finally took what you're really glad for. It's pretty awesome. This is my Hapalopus species, Columbia Large. That molted, I think. I think she molted. She was really tiny, now she's a little bit less tiny. I just give her pre up crickets and she eats some of it and I put it out again after a while. This was um, my Daphnikias Gigas. I don't know if you saw that but the crick actually jumped out of the, the vial into the enclosure. And you can see it walk past maybe water dish now. And that was the sound of the key Gigas taking it. So as per usual, the cricket went to the side, which I wasn't looking at, so I didn't get a good clip of that. But you can, behind the leaf, you can see the gear's his legs. Well, you missed that one. <laughs> yeah, you didn't miss that one. This is my uh, Samuel Peters Redankus. Um, this was an amazing takedown. I actually got to see the, the full spider for once, because these guys burrow it away and I don't get to see them often anymore. Next up is my Epsilon Pius Camry Giant, that one is Pete Demon. Saw that. By the way, I will be getting nicer enclosures for these for recording at some point. I'm working on it. This is my Epsilon Pius Pulker. And I dropped the cricket in and it was gonna just camera angle, but look, he already took it. So, um, yeah. The Samuel Pius Pulker. Still haven't been able to get like a good look at him her since she molted. I've had this one since like a teeny tiny second instar, I think. As soon as they're ready to be shipped from that instar on, I think that's second instar. So I'm really excited to see her grow. This is the Brachapum Bomai. That one's come a long way too. It's looking really pretty now. Fortunately, I think he's male. This is the back of Palma Albo Pelos, and I think he's also male. So that makes three males in my back of Palma collection so far. But that's fine, we'll just breed them off, and, or we'll buy a bigger juvenile female and breed these at some point. I just love how um, when I, I keep my Alba Pelosan, she like, or like he like, goes around and goes for a walk with the crick in its mouth. It doesn't really do a happy dance right away, it just kind of walks about. <laughs> Pretty funny. Cute little bugger. Also, I'd like to apologize as the video progresses, you'll notice that the line is getting worse and worse because we're getting quite late. And um, the sun was going down. That's why the quality gets less and less near the end. This is my bracket pull my Albiceps, never since he molted, or she, you no clue. Ever since it molted, it's become a great ear. So if you get a bracket pull about this size, you can accept them to start eating for you. Because it molted twice, but like barely eating at all, and only eating pre kill. Well, it did eat, but only ate pre kill, wouldn't take anything down. Just cavernous. And suddenly it starts eating like crazy. Also, if you don't want your back palma to grow incredibly slow like the rumors have it, just feed them twice a week and keep them at like 80 Fahrenheit or almost 30 Celsius and they grow at no K rate. My slings are at like a 1 to 2 month, to two months month cycle. This is my back palma smithy male, I think. And this is pretty weird, I've never seen him do that before. He took one cricket, 
and then completely lost interest in the second one. And then even kicked a few hairs at it. Does that mean he's in primo after that one cricket that he has now? I've got no clue. Guess we'll see um, Sunday if he'll eat again. If not, it'd be nice if he was in primo, because then. Um, yeah, it's been a couple of months since he molted. I think about three. Quite a while. This is the kind of screw Jenny Kalara, and it's always. doesn't disappoint, always eats. Still need to get a mold out of her though. I've gotten molt out of all my other ones, but not this one. My Psalmopias are Minyas actually in Primo, which is pretty exciting, because she's my big Psalmopias. I should be able to sex that mold too, so that'll be exciting for when she does mold. Hoping it's a female. This is the Brachapel by Emilia, and the crickets ran in her burrow, but that's okay, I'm sure she'll eat that later. She's nowhere near Primo, shouldn't be at least. So I just decided to send a, a different cricket that should have done right away. That's why I'm pretty sure she'll take that one down as soon as she finds it. But oh well, you guys don't get to see it. This is for sure one of the nicest Bracapelmas. Nah, wait, every single Bracapelma is a nice Bracapelma. But this one's pr pretty nice. I like the fluffy orange legs with the black knees. It's nice. This is the Brachypelma sabulosum. I'm beginning to be able to tell them apart. It's more because of size than anything though. This one's a bit smaller and he's way more food aggressive than the other ones. This one's the species Angustin. You can see it's way bigger and blacker and I don't know, darker. I've heard that this one's not a Brachypelma anymore, but it was sold as a Brachypelma species Angustin to me. And I don't know what the S Angustin is that people say it is now. I'm, I'm not sure about that. So for now, it's staying a Brachypelma for me until I figure out more about that. Oh well. I think I'm going to Sirico Pelma and no clue. I've actually got no clue. It better be Rack Pelma, I like Rack Pelmas. Anyway, this is the Kalenbergi. Um, Golden Carapace is really coming out now. And there's the second cricket. She's actually gonna miss it here, it's gonna walk under her to the right of her. Just, I thought it was pretty funny. So sorry for the sounds of cars on the outside and stuff, I live pretty close to a big road, so I get quite some traffic. And we had like 26 degrees Celsius today, so it was really warm, so I kept the window open. And here the cricket needs some encouragement to get eaten, there we go. Look at the legs sticking out, that was pretty funny. Give me a little good old chuckle. This is uh, my Brachypelma Vagans. Vagans, or whatever you pronounce it. These are pretty food aggressive too. I've not really noticed the skittish nature of them yet. People are like, oh, the Vagan is really skittish. Mine's actually pretty chill. Just like any other juvenile I have. I'd say my Kalaberg is more skittish. Also, my Ram's not in this video, because, um, I mean, she doesn't want to eat. But she doesn't look like she's in pre mode yet, but she just decides not to eat right now. So yeah, that's the thing. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my other videos, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Peace. Goodbye.